everyone, Miranda Cosgrove here. I just wanted to tell you to check out Lil Simsy recreating the iCarly set on twitch.tv slash Nickelodeon. Miranda Cosgrove said my name. There is some context to this, okay? It didn't just happen for no reason, so let me explain. I did a sponsored stream on Nickelodeon's Twitch channel the other day. Yes, I said Nickelodeon's Twitch channel. They sent me an email and they were like, hey Kayla, we got this cool idea to promote the new season of iCarly. What if you came on our channel and built iCarly sets in The Sims? To which I was like, oh my god, like, Yes, please. Absolutely. Thank you Nickelodeon for emailing me. This is actually my second time being sponsored by Nickelodeon. The first time was last year. They had like an orange carpet in Animal Crossing to celebrate the Kids' Choice Awards and they had me host it. But that was like pre-recorded and then they streamed the video. This time I was literally live on their channel. Of course that stream was sponsored, but this video is not, by the way. I just wanted to brag about Miranda Cosgrove saying my name. That's why I'm here. Purely because I probably said my name. I didn't know she was gonna do that. I knew I was being sponsored and they were like, hey, if you want you can share our Instagram story and I was like yeah that's fine so I see I'm tagged in a story I click on it and all of a sudden it's Miranda Cosgrove's face and she's like hey check out Lil Simsy oh my god oh my god I was like near tears when I first saw it I didn't know they were gonna get her to do that do you know how long I've loved iCarly for I think we all have that's like top tier childhood memories of watching iCarly I mean I I'm so excited about this and so I thought I might make a video doing the sets in the sims just because it was so fun to do on the stream if you watch that stream I am just gonna redo what I did then but Shh, don't tell anybody that. They don't need to know that. In case you missed it, I just dropped brand new merch on my website, lilsimsyshop.com. We've got new hoodies, new shirts, new necklaces, and a new hat. So if you want to check it out, I'll link it down below. I think you'll really enjoy all of these things. That's lilsimsyshop.com. It's actually pretty cool because they gave me like proper set photography. Usually when I try and build like TV show things in The Sims, it's kind of hard to do because you're like scrubbing through the videos, trying to find good angles. You're like trying to Google what the Good Luck Charlie kitchen looks like to rebuild it. And I also normally try and build like the whole thing. For example, I'll try and build like the whole Good Luck Charlie house and put it all together in a house. But the problem with doing that is that the house doesn't actually exist, right? All these TV shows have like a random house that they film like B-roll exterior shots of, and then they build sets completely separately, no regard for what the outside is meant to look like. And so when you try and stick like the Good Luck Charlie living room inside of the house they show on the show, it doesn't fit. The layouts don't work properly. Trust me, I have tried. I built the Gilmore girl's house once, it was impossible. Think, for example, like the full house house. That's like one of those little tiny skinny townhouses in San Francisco on the outside, but then on the inside it's this like massive open floor plan big room. That doesn't fit in there. The windows don't line up, like none of that makes sense. So it's really hard to build show houses and make them like functional because they just aren't. They're not real. They're sets. And so today we're only gonna try and do the set. I want to build Spencer's apartment, but like just this angle of the set. I feel like this apartment is like the heart of the whole show, right? It's this apartment and then also like the studio space upstairs. But this is like where the magic happens, right? The whole show takes place in here. So I'm gonna try and recreate it. I'll stick that tiny picture up in the corner too so you can see what I'm talking about. And I guess we'll just get started. I mean, I'm thinking that we're gonna have to put this on like tall wall height because there's a lot of platform stuff going on in that back corner. So there's like an elevator elevator right here, right? We do have elevators in The Sims, but they're not like real elevators. They don't actually function, but we could do something like that. The elevator in the picture is like way fancier, but at least this gets the point across. Oh, should I use the smaller one? I never know what the best thing to do is. Maybe I'll do that one. And then there's like a bike floating on the wall above it. We don't have a bike like mounted on the wall as decoration, but we do have a bike. So Ooh, why did it do that? <laughs> it just like went down on its own. That was kind of scary. Maybe I will use the smaller elevator then. But I don't know what the best size to use is. This will be fine. Okay, I kind of like that. I feel like this dine out wallpaper kind of matches the brick pretty well too. The brick is sort of like distressed and I feel like this works for that. Okay, but here's the fun part. All the platforms in the back there. I feel like it's on like a four high platform or something. Is that too high? No, my bike. Why? Oh my God. This game is unbearable. <laughs> I'll put it back later. And then we have like stairs all at the bottom. I think they have kind of a yellowish wood floor. One, two, three, four. And then we have like another staircase. It goes kind of like that up the back. Oh, I'm gonna have to do something kind of sneaky for this. Basically in the real set, it kind of like disappears off the corner, right? As I'm sure we are all familiar with. In the real set, this of course goes to absolutely nothing because it is in fact a set. It probably isn't even a full staircase. I bet it just goes up like a couple steps, but it kind of like turns the corner and goes up to like Carly's bedroom and stuff. But unfortunately, um, Carly's bedroom is not actually up there because it's a set. When I was a kid, I used to think that like all of these sets were like actual 
actual houses and they just filmed in houses. It was truly devastating when I learned that it was not real and it was all just rooms. I'm wondering if these windows might work. I think that looks kind of like what they have. Theirs are a little bit different. That might be okay. They also have a whole bunch of like fancy columns and stuff everywhere. I wonder if I should try and mimic that at all. What is that? Why did- what are you doing? Oh my god. But like they have kind of like fancy metal columns there. Why does it go diagonal? Oh besties, this is not going well. <laughs> this just looks bad. I want to put a beam there at least because I think they have something like that in the picture. Maybe I won't put the columns in the back and we'll just do them in the front. Do you think it's ugly to have the columns there? I'm not sure. I like actually can't tell. If I size the bike down. Oh, it fits better like that. Oh yeah, I should probably do that. I also might make this like way bigger in the back because then we can get down properly to see like all of the <laughs> all of the area. It keeps making my bike go lower. Why does it do that? I place it and then it like goes down. If I put it up too high. Yeah, see it like whatever. It's the Sims. Just let it do what it wants. It's fine. I think if you look very closely, they have like a glass railing right here and they have like lights twisted around it. I don't know how to do that in the Sims, like to put lights on the railing, but we can definitely put a railing in. Okay, so right here next to the stairs, they have that big robot. We have a couple options. For example, I could size up a robot. I could size up this robot. We could use the knight statue possibly, and we could also put a servo. I don't know how creepy that is, the servo being used, but I'm kind of choosing between the servo and the knight statue. Yeah, I don't think there's a different color variant of it. I think they all just look like that. So maybe I will use the scary servo for now. I feel like that kind of works. The room also needs to get a little bit bigger. This door right here is actually like a hallway and that's where like Spencer's room is and stuff. And there's also another door right here. I don't know if you can see, but it has like those two sconces on either side of the door. We literally have those in The Sims 4. Look at these lights. I have never used this light in my life. That is the exact same thing. I totally didn't know we had those, but it's it's perfect for this. There's also something hanging above the door, but truthfully, I, I can't really tell what that is. <laughs> I'm not entirely certain, so I'm just gonna put something. Maybe something like this would be okay. I don't know, just, just something. Also on that other wall, like the wall by the stairs, this one, it looks like there's gears or something. Can you tell that? We have gears. Look, these things from the industrial loft kit, obviously this, this wall hanging is not quite the same. Like there are a bunch of circles and this is a big rectangle thing, but I feel like this kind of fits the vibes of what we're going for. And I can also see Spencer making something like that or something, so I feel like it works. There's also a kind of cool art piece right here on this wall. You see, I feel like those vibes are kind of similar. Do you see what I mean though, how they have like the lights hanging? Lights and chilies hanging. Oh, it's like food. Is that like pizza slices and chilies? Yeah, we don't have pizza slices and chilies to hang from the glass, unfortunately. We can put a table with a plant and a lamp though. We can put that back here. Like a glass table, plant. They have kind of a funky shaped lamp. It's almost similar to that shape, to be honest with you, but I might use this one instead just because that feels more like it's in the spirit of what it's supposed to look like. That's the thing with doing real life builds in The Sims. You kind of have to mix and match like like what you're gonna try and have be accurate. Because sometimes you're gonna have like the color be perfect, but the style is a little bit off. Or the style's right, but the pattern is wrong. Or sometimes it's not exactly the same thing, but it's a really similar vibe and it makes for a good replacement. Okay, but then in this back area, you see this lamp? We literally just got that. This one, like I said, different vibe, not the same exactly, but like the shape is perfect. The style is right. This is, this is what the lamp looks like. The shade is different in the, in the real picture, but I feel like this really gets the point across. And then it's like a really big like fiddle leaf fig or something. I don't really know. I guess that's kind of the same plant, but I might get a bigger plant. Maybe even just this base game one would be better. I want it to be leafier, you know? And then they have like a big dresser with a record player on top and stacks of records. So we've got options for this, right? We could put a dresser. I feel like that one kind of has similar vibes, obviously in a different color, but that's kind of similar. This one is actually quite similar in color and like in all the drawers. Honestly, even like the, the cheap base game one, all the different like doors and drawers kind of looks like what this one looks like, but this one's more modern. So I'm kind of leaning towards this as the dresser. But then I was thinking, what if we just put like a straight up record player? Cause this has like the same vibes as the record player they have. Obviously it's a record player and not a dresser, but like, is that maybe what we're going for? Or we could just put this like on top of the thing and pretend, I don't, I don't know, there's, there's options. But I feel like 
in my mind, I would rather have the record player. And we can just put like stuff on the shelves. There's also a kind of funky patterned rug. And I kind of like the idea of using that one for it. Okay, that's a box and some books. It's not quite the same thing as some stacks of records, but I think it gets the point across. Like that, that's similar vibes, right? And then for this chair, that by the way is like a really expensive chair in real life. We have a couple options. This one is like a nice leather chair, kind of similar. But look at these for a second. Now look at this. Back to these. Back to this. This one looks just just like it. Like if this were leather, like a nice, I don't know, brown chair, that's kind of the same vibes. I don't have an ottoman that matches it really. I mean, I guess we have like this little thing. We could always put that down with it, but like that's kind of the same vibes. We could get like a super cool guitar or something, put it there, and somehow that's perfect. They also have guitars on the wall here. Theirs are hanging up like mounted to the wall. We can't really do that in The Sims, but we can put them on the wall. So here's my thought. We could pick like three cool ones, like the freezer bunny one, that one, and then we could just put shelves on the wall and like put them on the shelves. I don't know what color shelf. And I also think that they might float a little bit, but that's fine. Yeah, look, that's not um the most ideal, <laughs> but we can we can put it like that. It's fine. Just takes a little bit of pretending and it gets the point across. Like you know what we're going for with this. Okay, so down here kind of near the door, they have that like awesome jukebox. We got to put something like that in here. And then they also have like those cool things hanging from the ceiling. They're like cool round. I don't know, I guess it's like an art piece, but <laughs> I we gotta put something over here to sort of mimic that. And I've been trying to figure out what I wanna do because I feel like some lights might actually be a good idea because you still have that like, you know, staggered height effect. They all sort of match. And we have a bunch of options of things that might work like that. Like these could be okay if they were all gold maybe, but they don't really come in the same color. Honestly, this might even work, but same thing, like the colors are kind of off. And then I saw these and this isn't really quite right. Like it's not lanterns that are hanging from the ceiling in this area. They're actually like this like brownie gold balls, but isn't that kind of a similar vibe? I think that might actually work. It's never gonna be identical, so we're just trying to find things that kind of feel like they would fit in here, and I feel like that fits. Also, I don't know if you can tell, but in the picture you can see like a bunch of studio lights at the top. I thought it might be funny to put some, just like sneak some back there maybe. I just, just as like an ode to the fact that it's a TV set. Okay, but then the living room, they have like a big striped rug in here, and it actually kind of looks like the base game striped rug. I almost feel like this is actually really appropriate for it. We get it in like a red and blue sort of color scheme. I mean, look at that, that works. And then there's like a blue couch. And I've been thinking about this because we have a lot of blue couches, a lot with pillows as well. And this one, the one in the picture has pillows. So something like that could be cute, but the pillows aren't really the right color. This one is super cute. It's kind of the same color as the picture, but it has no pillows. This one is from Paranormal. This one is a different shade of blue, but it has like some kind of fun pillows and decorations that kind of fit the vibes. It also comes in this color, but I think that might be too much with the pattern. Then there's like these sofas that come in some different shades of blue, but the pillows don't really match anything. This one is new. It's actually kind of similar in style and color, but I feel like the pattern might be too much. So these are kind of our options. I think this one is not good because of the color of the pillows. This one is too small. This one matches in color and shape, but I don't know if they would have that pattern, which is why I feel like it's kind of between these two. And I think maybe this one is better just because of the colors of the pillows. Like when you look at this, I feel like the fun pillows kind of make it. So I think I'll keep this one. And then we need to get like two different side tables on either side. I might size them down because they're kind of ugly when they're that big. Maybe I could find a different table. I don't know, I just don't like the... I think they're all too big. <laughs> but there's like two side tables. This chair looks exactly like the dream home decorator one. And then we can maybe use this ottoman to kind of like fill it out. And I've been thinking about that side table too because it's kind of a cool shaped side table. Like it's kind of fun, it's round. We do have some fun round tables, but a lot of them are kind of big and they don't have like that same like fun vibe of the base. I think this one might work. It's kind of different, it's a triangle triangle, not round, but it has like the same sort of stick legs. Maybe we could do red to like match the carpet. I don't know. I feel like this one just kind of matches the vibe, right? Like again, we keep trying to pick things that are either the same color or the same vibe or the same, pa you know, we're trying to like mix and match. And I think that fits in even though it's not like the perfect shape. The coffee table is kind of just like a simple wooden one. And on the coffee table, they have like a tic-tac-toe board and maybe a chessboard. It's hard to say. But we can't really do that. Like we don't have game boards like that. So I've been thinking about what to put on this. 
and we do have a little stack of CDs, and I feel like because we don't have the stacks of records in the back, maybe the CDs could be like a fun touch. Does that not come in colors? Oh, it does. I'd rather change the color. But doesn't the stack of CDs seem like a fun- oh my gosh, wait, that's the same guy from the poster that we have, the base game poster. I never noticed that. And then I was thinking maybe just like some magazines or something as the other item, because it's kind of low profile like the tic-tac-toe board is. So when you look at the whole room, I feel like it's kind of similar. Okay, and then they also have like a table behind the couch, kind of like that, and there's like a lamp and stuff on it. Well, maybe lamp is a strong word. There's like this can sculpture, some books, <laughs> a gummy bear, and a plant. So I've been trying to think like, what could replace the can sculpture? And the answer is a tiny cow plant. A tiny cow plant could replace the can sculpture. We can change the metal color maybe to match it better, but I feel like that's perfect. Then we have some big books. I've been using this thing as kind of a replacement for the gummy bears. There's like a whole gummy bear lamp thing in iCarly and we don't really have that, but I feel like this little owl lamp kind of works for that. It serves a similar purpose. And then maybe like this little tiny plant. In green, it kind of looks like the same plant. We just just gotta, you know, alt place these better. Oh, that is not good. Okay, <laughs> let me let me try and scoot this a little bit more. They can't be hanging off the edge. That would not be good. Okay, maybe a little bit more. Yeah, there we go. I feel like that works. Okay, and then we have these little tables left to do. So that side table next to the couch has this like weird sculptural red thing. So I'm just looking through like every red item, trying to think like what could be good. I think that's too big. I kind of like this little guy to be honest. I think that he could be fun. That's interesting. There's also like a vase. Maybe a vase would be okay. Oh, the vase is kind of a similar vibe. Oh, or like this vase. Interesting. Maybe I'll use that. Yeah, let's go for that. Okay. And then lastly is just those side tables. Now I sized them down, which is annoying because it means that things won't snap to the right height. I'm trying to find a table that is like close to, if not the same height, like without being sized down. That one's pretty close. I guess they're all kind of the same, but maybe I could try and do that. Cause look, when I snap things to it, like say I put that lamp. Then when I scoot it over here, it'll be like kind of the right height for this. I might actually use that lamp. It needs to be orange and that's orange. And then on that table, there's also a little rotary phone, a little statue, and then I think like a bowl with some papers in it. The table is small, so we don't have that much space. I was thinking about putting a future cube. It's not the same thing as a phone, but I feel like it's similar enough. And then maybe some books. Okay, that looks really silly because it's <laughs> <laughs> it's all like inside of the table. Whatever, okay? It's fine. I like it. It's fine. And then on this table, they have like a controller and the remote, a couple gummy bears, a dog, and a little golden lamp. Now, now, what do you make of that? I feel like maybe this panda lamp could be perfect and we could do like one of these little owl things again, kind of as an ode to the gummy bears. And I don't know how much more space we have aside from that though. So let me just try and put these down and see what, what it looks like. Okay. And then maybe what if we put like the tiny robot instead of the dog, because the robot kind of is like a controller, it's a robot. <laughs> <laughs> it's similar to the little tiny dog. I feel like that gets the whole the whole vibes across. You know what? I feel like this is turning out really well. I hate to say it, but I think that looks a lot like the picture. Picture? Ours. Real one? Ours. Real one? Ours. So here's that final Sims version we pulled off. I think it looks really good. And then here's that original picture of the actual real life set. I'm kind of proud of this. This has been really fun. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Again, just for the record, this video is not sponsored by the way. I just like iCarly and, and wanted to show you the build because I thought it would be fun, but they did sponsor my stream the other day. So full transparency. And if you like watching stuff like this, I actually made a video last year where I rebuilt the Good Luck Charlie house. And in the speed build, Jason Dolly joined me. Like Jason Dolly, the guy who plays PJ. Yeah, he's in the video the whole time. So if you want to watch that, I'll link it at the end of the video for you. And with that being said, I will catch you all tomorrow. Bye everybody. Besties, I'm serious. I could actually cry over iCarly saying my name. I'm dead serious. This is like a childhood dream come true. My worlds are colliding. I'm so excited. <laughs>